This is how Julie Methrel gets all her vitamins these days. They used to come out of a bottle until the cost began to add up. Oh, I would say probably anywhere from $70 to $80 a month. Like many who take supplements, advice on how to navigate the A to zinc of vitamins was not from her doctor. I think it was a combination of talking with friends about what they were using to help with, you know, either sleep or help with fitness, help with energy, and just some of my own readings, be it through books or online, because there's a lot of conflicting information out there. Conflicting, but the evidence? Less so. Study after peer-reviewed studies show next to no measurable health benefits to taking common store-bought vitamins or multivitamins in otherwise healthy people. Some prominent doctors are even starting to speak out against our obsession with vitamins. I think it actually probably is historical in nature. I mean, years ago, the main problems we had were nutritional deficiencies. But we've long since gone beyond that. But it must be lots of milk which has given Linda such a bright smile. Indeed, staple foods such as milk, flour and table salt have long been supplemented with vitamins and minerals to eliminate those deficiencies. Still, a recent StatsCan study shows a third of Canadians do have low vitamin D levels, though only 10% are actually considered deficient. You're skipping meals, you're eating you know, poor nutritious choices, lots of sweetened beverages which don't bring a lot of nutrients. The biggest problems aren't from vitamin and mineral deficiencies, they're from too many calories, too much sodium, high trans fats, high sugar intakes, um, not enough fruits and vegetables. There are some cases when doctors will recommend supplements for pregnant and conceiving women as well as babies or people who get little sun. In spite of the slim evidence, most family physicians still won't discourage taking vitamins because the risks are few. The prescription that works for Julie Methrel is eating well and staying active. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.